Welcome back to GBN tonight with me, Martin Daldney. Now, the remaining embers of Britain's last coal-fired power station at Ratcliffe on Soar have finally been smouldered down. As a kid, I could see the plumes of steam from Ratcliffe fired by coal dug by my dad, Bob, who worked at nearby Cockgrave Pit for 47 years. There he is in his prime. Now, today marks the end of more than 140 years of the coal industry in the UK. That's my dad, Bob, again. It's no coincidence that today the last blast furnace at Port Talbot was also extinguished for the final time. Now, of course, the death of coal and steel has been a hurrah by the Labour Party and the net zero zealots. Well, joining me now is a man who knows a thing or two about life underground. And that is, of course, Lee Anderson, MP for Ashfield and a former coal miner himself. Lee, welcome to the show. Always a pleasure. We've, talk, we've spoken before, Lee about the importance and the integrity and the pride that coal gave to Britain, to the working classes, to the Midlands. Today's final winding down of Ratcliffe on Saw is talismanic, Lee Anderson. What's your thoughts? Yeah, it is, Martin. It is a sad day. You know, you know I've got a close affinity with uh, this power station. In fact, you know, not only did your dad work at a coal mine which supplied coal to this, to this power station, I also worked at a coal mine, Welbeck Colliery which supplied coal to this um, power station back in the day. I actually went on a visit there many, many years ago. And I uh, I catch the train uh, to London right at the side of this power station, East Millers Parkway, every single week. It'd be very, very sad to see it go. But this, Martin, actually, is a massive act of self-harm in our country once again. We've seen the steelworks go. We've seen oil refinery go. We've seen the last coal-fired power station girl and guess what we still need these things we, yeah, we need steel we need coal we need all this martin it's absolute madness and like you just said in the introduction there there'll be some lunatics around the you know the net zero lunatics they'll be partying tonight you know what there's a lot of people in this country scratching their heads and thinking why why do we let this madness continue mate it's absolute lunacy but we've seen with this um, Labour government, the direction of travel couldn't be clearer. Um, North Sea oil, well, it's just stop oil as far as Labour Party are concerned. We've seen with Paul Talbot, OK, that was been winding down for some time. It's Labour Party that put the final stake through its heart today. The same with Ratcliffe. And we saw with Whitehaven, the proposed coal mine up in Cumbria last week. Yeah. Yeah. Said they're all getting the chop because of net zero. Now, we haven't seen any jobs emerging. We were promised thousands of jobs. Where are they? Well, this, this, is, this, is, this, is how, uh, this is how ridiculous it is, Martin. If you just go up a couple of hours um, up into North Yorkshire, we have Drax Power Station. This, this Drax Power Station was at one time burning coal from a, a local coal mine. And guess what? You know, the stupidity, you know, the stupid times we're living in at the moment. We now imported wood from North America. We are chopping down trees and forests and shipping this over the Atlantic in diesel guzzling cargo ships, making it into, into wood pellets and then grinding it and we're burning it in Drax power station. We are told this is renewable energy because trees will grow again. And guess what? It's costing us or costing everybody in the country one million pound a day in subsidies to keep this uh, power station open. It's absolute madness. The lunatics have taken over the asylum. <laughs> Lee, this is proof, do you think, that the Labour Party they used to represent the working man. I mean, back in the days of all the coal strikes, the Labour Party was very much in favour of the working man, of the coal mines staying open. Coal, not coal. In fact, they were shouting, now it's coal, not coal. It is, yeah. I mean, now it's, you know, my dad was a striking miner, all my family were striking miners. Most of the men in my, in my family worked down the pits, including me. I was the last one to go down the pit. You know what? And, and the Labour Party, let's be honest, Martin, over the years and years, they made a good living on the backs of coal miners you know there were hundreds of thousands of us at one time paying our subs same with the heavy industries well like the power stations and the steel industry and the transport industry useful idiots that's what we were martin we were paying our money in keeping them approved and now they've turned their back on us okay lee as i have you here i want to talk to you about